you know, we're going to go into our waiver wire ads here. Uh, these are guys that we think are out there. They can help you with your playoff push. Get them on your team. Wes, hit me with your waiver wire ad going into week oh, thir- 13, 13, 13. 13. What the you heck? believe so it. Ridiculous. We got two, we like, two weeks till playoff starts. Let's go. All righty. Got the obvious waiver wire ad of the week. He got pretty loose over the week, <laughs> and it's Pat Fryermuth because yeah. he is incredible. And I love this man, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him because he is my <laughs> new husband. Um, no, he is he's awesome. It, it's it's no fluke. We've already said it in our fluke of for real segment that he is legitimate. We were very excited about him going to the season. Unfortunately, he got hurt and missed a lot of time, but he's back, and this is exactly who for, Pat Frymuth should be. I'm going to add a little sneaky waiver wire just to put him out there in case something really does begin to change in Carolina. I think just keep a little tab on Jonathan Mingo, who had a pretty decent week. Not too bad, nothing to write home about, but he is an awesome, awesome wide receiver. He is my second favorite wide receiver coming out of the class behind Josh Downs. I comped Jonathan Mingo to a Terrell Owens type of player. And if that does actually begin to blossom, that is going to be incredible. Here's the reason you should keep an eye on maybe some of these Panthers wide receivers. I'll throw out DJ Chark as well, but Mingo's the one that had a better game. Uh, They have nothing to lose now, so they're going to just figure out whatever the heck they want. And that's usually when teams start playing really well because they have, I, I don't know if mathematically they're out. Probably not because their division is pretty bad. But Jonathan Mingo, good wide receiver. They just fired their head coach. He just caught four of six for 60 yards, and they're going to play Tampa Bay this week, who's allowed the fourth most points to wide receivers. Just keep your eye on Jonathan Mingo. But, again, obvious waiver wire is Pat Fryermuth. Yeah, and uh, and as 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 wild as this sounds, Wes, uh, I fully agree with you. Uh, legitimately, my clear waiver wire ad for the week is Pat Fryermuth. He is forty nine percent owned. He is definitely somebody who should be out there and uh, on your team. Eleven targets, nine catches, one hundred twenty yards. If this was still a Matt Canada offense, I would write this off, but it is not. It says something. When you're an offensive coordinator for a team for so long and in 58 games, you haven't gone over 400 offensive yards. And then in your yeah. first game you, as a team, when you fire that offensive coordinator and you go over 400 yards of offense, that means something. There you go. Like I, mm-hmm. I it's there, it's simple as that. <laughs> so that is my clear waiver of wire ad and no joke. My under the radar addition in the waiver wire is Jonathan Mingo. He is 16% owned. He led the team in receiving. Frank Reich was just fired. And there could be a change. There could be a shift. They could want to see these two rookies do more together. What? (laughs) How do we do that? Come on, man. That's impossible. I have no idea. I have no idea. I literally started writing down, <laughs> I cannot believe this is happening. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I, it, it, it's so it's ridiculous. Right, yeah, so <laughs> Pat Fryermuth and Jonathan Mingo. It may be yeah, a yeah, thin but... waiver wire this week. I don't know. Maybe that was it. Pat Fryermuth, very obvious. But Jonathan Mingo, a guy that I really like. I have on a couple of dynasty teams. Exciting to see him do some stuff here. And he plays so much. He's on the field so much. He's <laughs> He plays such a high percentage of snaps. So Jonathan yeah. Mingo is up here for you in the, in the waiver wire. If you're Fourth looking for double down. somebody. Yeah, if you're looking for somebody to get in that lineup, you can go ahead and uh, and, and maybe get him at least on the team, see what happens here. Maybe we'll, we'll get some stuff moving with Jonathan Mingo in the future. 